Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a video on saving money in London, kind of, but basically living like a king. So similar to the Paris video, if you've not seen the Paris video yet, there's a link just coming up here um, where you can see the video and you can save money in Paris as well as in London, like in today's video. So this all started by a company called Snap Travel. Uh, who are a coach company similar to National Express. They do routes from the Midlands and Cardiff down to London. Um, but the advantage with Snap is that they they actually drop you at specific locations in London. So you can get off at like Finchley Road, Chalk Farm, uh, Camden or uh, Covent Garden. And Covent Garden is perfect. It's right in the centre of London. You can just get off and go do what you want. Um, but they got in contact with us to have a coach journey on them down to London and then have some money to spend so that was really kind of them and it got us thinking like, how could we make this money go as far as it possibly can. Uh, we came up with the idea to research and do a Michelin star restaurant if we could for under £30 a person. Um, I never thought it was possible but it actually is and it's a place called Kitchen W8 in South Kensington. Um, a restaurant owned by a guy called Phil Howard, um, who's one of my favorite chefs. He's wrote some fantastic books. I've got some stuff actually that I've recorded of his that I'm gonna put into a video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, this guy uh, opened this restaurant uh, and in 2011, it got a Michelin star and it's held a Michelin star ever since. So the advantage of this restaurant is that they do a three course menu for 28 pounds uh, Monday to Saturday which is insane value like if you went to a bistro you'd probably be paying more than you are at a place like this that's got a michelin star does fine dining and it's amazing it's not a particularly stuffy restaurant it's quite a chilled out relaxed kind of place you don't have to get sort of dressed up or anything um you can just walk in and you know sit down chill out and have some great food you know that's that's a great restaurant So starters on the menu for £28 were a like a mackerel dish with an almond gazpacho, uh, shaved gooseberries and some pickled vegetables. Incredible flavour on the gazpacho. I'm not normally like a cold soup kind of person but um, the gazpacho was unbelievably good and I'd happily have that again and again. Um, the tomato marinated salad with avocado mousse is kind of similar to what Phil used to do at the square. And again, absolutely delicious. Really good with like fresh watermelon as well. Um, a really cool dish and great for the summertime. Ox tongue, I'd never actually order ever if I saw it on a menu. It was only because it was on this menu, it was the only meat option. I thought, well, you know, we may as well try it. Oh my God, it's like a sirloin steak. When it's hit the grill, it's like, it goes like a steak. It's tender, it's juicy. It's just amazing. So unbelievably good, so. Yeah, if you see that on a menu, order it. I've got to do it on the barbecue at some stage because it is that good. The other main course was a sea trout dish with peas, lettuce and bacon. It was quite nice. It was nothing too flash, but again, well-cooked fish, nice garnishes. Very, very good indeed. The only sort of downside really to the meal was the desserts. Um, I didn't really like the presentation on the peach melba it just looked like someone had put a few peaches on a plate and put like squirty cream on top it was really strange like after the presentation of the first two dishes i didn't really get that but yeah it, it was nice it was good um but yeah presentation wise it could have just done with something else similarly the blackcurrant sorbet and the vanilla donuts were exactly that blackcurrant sorbet two scoops and two small vanilla donuts, not filled or anything, just tossed in vanilla sugar. A bit boring if I'm honest, but it tasted nice, but it just again could have done with something else. So in summary, Kitchen WA is an awesome place if you want a Michelin standard experience with without the price tag, um, and I highly recommend going. It is honestly one of the better places in that area of London for the price point. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed already to this channel. Um, it really does mean a lot and the community is growing. So 
If you aren't subscribed and you're watching this video, hit that red button just below and come and join us here on the Artisan Traveller channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.